Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. I want to tell y'all a little bit after Demetrius got killed. <clears throat> I was moving a key at seven hours at that time when Demetrius got killed. I could move t two keys a day in all dimes. Cutting up an ounce and cutting it up into dimes, I could move two keys a day seven hours at a time, 14 hours, I could move two keys a day selling dimes only at the time Demetrius got killed. Now let me explain something to you. When he got killed, it was a drought. Kane was tight to get, and I went up to New York. My brother Brown was living in Brooklyn at the time. He had a nice ass <clears throat> brownstone in Brooklyn. So I went up to Brooklyn. I needed a connect. He turned me on to Big Ed. Understand this. I was running back and forth to New York. Understand this. This is a very true story. This is how I caught the attention of Big Ed. This is how. After I cooked the cane up and weighed it and told him in my hand what it weighed for, he put it on the scale, and it weighed exactly what I told him it weighed before he put it on the scale and it weighed what I told him it would weigh before I cooked it. After that, understand that not Big Ed is my plug. Indigo Blue, Times Square. Understand that. That's my connect now. So how I attracted Big Ed was like this. I was moving a key in seven hours as I told y'all. Now I got to go to New York to get a key and it, caught, it take you 10 to 12 hours to get to New York. Understand that. Now I got clientele, and at the time I was still dealing with Kevin Hill, and then when Demetrius got killed, because this is right after he got killed, I was still dealing with Kevin Hill now. So it's a drought, and they wanted some cane. I had went to New York and got a key from Big Ed. It's tight. They wanted it, so I sold it to them. I sold them the whole key. Now I'm making $10,000 profit off of selling them a key. Now, French Road is hot as a firecracker. Police come in there four times a day trying to raid and bust a nigga. So I'm under extreme heat at French Road. Anytime you go there, you stand a good chance of getting busted. That's how hot French Road was at this time. Now I'm rolling like 40 going north. And I say, uh, I'm going back to New York. I pick up the key, come back and sell it to Kevin now for $10,000 profit. Soon as I drive back to New York, pick up another key, come back and sell it to them for $10,000 profit. So I'm making $10,000 profit just driving to New York and back as quick as I can. So I'm going to New York round clock. I go there, drop off, come back. Now, this is how I'm running, making $10,000 a trip. It's tight on cane. I'm tired as a motherfucker at this point. So I slow down and stop for a minute, say I'm going to rest for a day because I'm burnt out. I mean, I'm doing a highway run only. To New York backdrop, to New York backdrop. So now I get up there. I'm tired that a motherfucker in Big Ed is watching me do this. He is watching me flip a key every day. As quick as I can drive to Detroit and back, I'm getting the key from him. He's looking at this shit like, damn, brother, you moving hell of a leak. I say, yeah, brother, you need to come on to Detroit with me. You see how I'm rolling, brother. Bring a bag there. It won't be long, brother. If you bring 20 keys, 20 days, and you gone, brother. Bring 20 keys. In 20 days, you go cast out. So Big Ed seeing how I'm running. I'm running. I mean, I'm running. I'm running. He decides, okay, Eddie, I think you is all right. So now he's going to Baltimore. He's running to Baltimore, dropping off and coming back. I'm running to Detroit and coming back. He running to Baltimore and coming back. So he said, Eddie, I run to get the key. I'm headed to Detroit to drop. He headed to Baltimore to drop. He said, Eddie, 
I'm on my way to Detroit. Soon as you come back, I'm going to Detroit next time you go with you. This is a true story. He said he on his way to Detroit with me. He got to run to Baltimore first. He didn't got a bodyguard. Now he is getting major dollars. He got a bodyguard. He even went from Jesse Henry, he got a bodyguard. Now I understand that. Big Ed is clowning. They got a trunk, a foot locker full of dope headed to Baltimore, full of bricks. They got a foot locker trunk full of bricks headed to Baltimore. Understand that. When I say the foot locker trunk, it had to be at least 20, 30, 50 keys in there. I would say easily 30 to 50 was in that foot locker trunk that he had. Now they taking the foot locker trunk, they on their way to Port Authority to catch a train to Baltimore. I'm on my way to catch a bus to Detroit out of the Port Authority. So they finna catch a train out of Port Authority and I'm finna catch a bus. Understand this, I get home, flip the key, I'm finna swing back and catch Big Ed when I call him. He locked the fuck up. Juice Brown tell me, cause I'm calling Ed and I can't get no answer on his number. I said, Brother Brown, what's what's up with you? He said, man, he didn't got busted. When he left here, when you and him left here, he got busted in Baltimore. Soon as they got off the train, they rushed him. Got the trunk full of dope, him and the bodyguard. The bodyguard was carrying a trunk full of dope. The first thing the bodyguard said was, it's his. Understand what the bodyguard said. First words out of his mouth was, it's Big Ed's. Understand that. Big Ed then got sunk up in Baltimore when he should have been in Detroit getting major dollars fucking with me. This is real true street crime, a real true story. Understand that this is real true street crime, a real story. Should have been getting paid and he was sitting back doing hard time in Baltimore. That was the last I heard from Big Ed when he got sunk in Baltimore and caught some time up there. Subscribe, share, and like Simmons Law. I just had to tell you all how it was flowing for me after Demetrius got killed. I ran into Big Ed who picked it up and we had a ball to Baltimore, gave him a fall. We had a ball to Baltimore, gave him a fall. Understand that. Everybody I ever know went to Baltimore, failed. Understand that. Everybody I ever know went to Baltimore, dropping off packages and doing things, got busted. One brother went up there and dropped off a million dollar worth of hair around, $100,000 a key, 10 keys. Soon as he got back to New York, went to sleep, the feds was in his place with the money, waking him up because the money had a tracking beaker on it. The money they had gave him had a tracker on it. They could track it anywhere it went. So when it went to New York in his apartment with him, they came and woke him up with the money, showed him the tracker, took him to the penitentiary. Understand that. That's what Baltimore did to all the brothers I know. They failed once they went to Baltimore. Understand that. Subscribe, share it, like Simmons Law. Check her out and she will definitely help you out. Check her out and she will help you out. Jelani's Tasty Table, world-class chef, straight out of Baker's Culinary College. Baker's Finest, 420 style or regular style, have it your way. Top tier cuts, 313 Soup Ken for the weekend. Top tier cuts, 313 Soup Ken for the weekend. Crime Town, Kingpin's Kids. Understand that Motown Mafia on Spotify is Courtney Brown Jr. Crime Town, Kingpin's Kids is on Spotify too. And Big Boss Phil is Courtney Brown Jr. too. This is real true street crime, Eddie Jackson Jr. Why lie when the real true street crime will do?
do. Why lie when the real true street crime will do? Motivate, don't hate. Motivate, don't hate. And if it help you, meditate, don't hate. Clarence and Matt Cow, loud delivery. Them brothers are show sure enough loud, straight out of Holland Park, Michigan. 420 style gummy bears, or perhaps just that loud. Class Mac Cab, loud delivery. And you gotta check out Coney Island Chronicle, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all over the place. Coney Island Tony is Coney Island Chronicles. Check him out for yourself today. And I have to say this, why lie when the real true street ground will do? Understand that, why lie when the real true street grind will do. I used to be so tired, brothers, of cutting up and hooking up. That's all I could do all day and half the night is cut up, cook up, cut up, and put it out there. Understand, running a 24-hour joint wears you out, wears you down, and at a point, it's gonna wear you down because you can't stay up for 24 hours. I was following the words of Warren Buffett. If you don't make money while you sleep, you will be working for the rest of your life. Understand what Warren Buffett said. If you don't make money while you sleep, you will be working for the rest of your life. Understand that. So I shifted into 24 hour seventh gear. Understand how stressful it is to cook up and cut up all day long, every day. Understand that I had to slow down and go. I decided really 10,000 profit as opposed to ducking the raid van, ducking niggas trying to rob you, ducking everything. So I decided to take that 10 grand for a while, riding and dropping. So I sat back and ride and drop, but I got greedy. I got home and French Road was calling, calling, calling. I pushed some shit down and went through it so quick. I was making so much more if I break the package down and break it up, but it was so much more risk. Understand the risk. $10,000 safely or way more, five times that with five times the amount of risk. Understand that I slowed up for a minute and took them 10000 and laid back and relaxed for a while. Understand that 10,000 going back to New York, back and forth was beautiful. All I had to do is duck the state trooper, Pennsylvania, and make it on home. Understand that when I got home, if I'm at French Road, I got raids coming four times a day. Understand that high stress. So I took the safe way. I took $10,000, I started splitting the key in half, and I, because I was greedy, I would sell half at French Road, leave it there for them to flip, while I would go get the half a key worked up and started getting the key, and leave a half a key at French Road, and get a key, and flip it like that. So I started flipping the key every time I would drive back and forth from New York, and I left the half a key at home to serve at French Road while I was gone. Subscribe, share, and like. And this is how it was for me after Demetrius Holloway was gone. Understand that. Subscribe, share, and like. This is real true street crime. Why lie when real true street crime will do? Subscribe, share, and like. And thank you to anybody who watches me. I truly appreciate your viewership, whether thumbs up or thumbs down. Thank you. And in the words of the fat man, Big Bear Cola, the magic fat man, over there on Crime Town, King Pins Kids with Ron Gear Valley narrating it for you, check it out today. And in the words of the fat man, Big Bear Cola, the magic fat man, Mr. President, I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all right here on YouTube, Red Dot. Red Shoes. Subscribe, share, and like, and thank you to everybody 
who takes time out of their day to view me. You humble me incredibly, and without you, there is no me. Thank you. Subscribe, share, and like, and I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all. Ha, ha, ha.